So, um, you guys, I wanted to say something. Um, you know, God has his people, his servants, the prophets, and his children here on earth right now. And they understand um, what is happening right now. And many of us understand, uh, we understand scripture. We know what the, um, with, with many, many scriptures and the things that the Lord reveals to us, we know what the Lord meant, what he was saying, right? And so you might say, well, why, why should we believe you, right? Um, well, you guys, the reason that he has called certain people, um, he, the Lord is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So these are people that have put the Lord above all things. So these are people who put the Lord above all things. That's why the Lord has called them and chosen them and, and to do what they're doing. Um, and he is the reward of those who diligently seek him. And that's why these people are called and chosen and are pillars to do what they're doing. Right? And you should take heed their warnings and their words. And another thing about these people, you guys, is they're not just saying this to be right or be Mr. Tough Guy or for any uh, selfish reason. Okay, I'm sure there's false prophets out there that are doing it for selfish reasons. But these people have a true heart for the lost. Meaning many of them will put their lives down for people. Right? They're doing this because they love people. Not because they're, uh, because for status or money or, or, um, or they want to be, you know, Mr. Right because of all the bad things that have happened in their lives or the trauma. It's, it's not because of that. It's their, their reason that they do things is from pure motives in their heart. That's why they can be trusted. You guys, these people can be trusted. And they're supposed to be doing, they're sounding the alarm right now. And they're telling you what these things mean in the Bible. Many of these things. True people of God, right? But you will know them by their fruits, you guys. These people have put the Lord above their children, their wives, their husbands, everything. They put Abba first. And they trust Him no matter what. No matter if they lose their children. No matter if somebody kill, kills their friend, their family, whatever, they trust him, right? And Amos 3.7 says, Surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets, right? Second Peter, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of men, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. See, the Holy Ghost is a well active and alive in his servants, the prophets, and his children these days. And the Lord is speaking to the world and to the people through his people, through his servants. And when you read the second Peter chapter one in context, you can get better context of what Peter was what's what he was saying in the scripture. But you guys, the reason I wanted to tell you that is believe, you guys, believe the truth. The Lord will convict you of what is true, who is truly his children, and he will let you know. And it's up to you. You have the free will decision whether you're going to choose to take what they say to heart and act on it, or if you're going to continue in your sin in lies, in deception, in, in not good things. And that's every person's decision. And that's, this is why judgment, you guys, judgment is going to befall the whole earth because the kingdom of Christ, the children of God are being made manifest. And, and, uh, and the kingdom of Christ, it's time for the kingdom of Christ to rule and reign on earth, as it says in the scriptures, many, many times so that we can have peace, so that this evil, wicked beast system can be judged. And please, you guys, listen to me. Come out of this system 
before this happens. God bless you guys. I love you.